Hello everyone, I'm John from Chilliwack Arad. Today I want to provide you with instructions on how to use your box trap. Take your trap, put it on a level surface. Unlatch the trap with the front of the trap facing away from you. Open up the box trap and you can see it's designed to sit flush on a surface. Take bait, place it in the bait station in front, behind, depending on the bait that you want to use. Take your two thumbs. Take the bar at the back and pull it back and latch it into place. Slowly remove your thumbs away from the trap. Never stick your hands in front of the trap because you don't want to snap your fingers. Once the trap is in position and everything's locked and loaded, close the box, latch the trap, and then Place it into position where you want to put it. Um, you can put it underneath a vehicle. You can put it in a shed, in a garage, on the stairs, under the stairs, by a hot tub, in your garden, in your garden shed. You, you can put this thing wherever you want to catch a rodent or a rat that is causing you grief or causing you problems. So when you put a rat trap out, the next day, what I want to do is I want to go in the morning to see if I've been successful. I want to show you again how this trap works. So I'm going to show you when the bar comes down what happens. The easiest way for me to show this is again there's a fence that's a higher elevation than the kill bar. So that causes that uneven position so when the rat stretches its head and neck across the bar when that bar comes down, it's going to almost be like a little bit of a scissor and snap that neck clean, clean and efficiently. Uh, the simplest thing for me to do is show uh, it with a paper towel. So if the rat comes in the trap and goes over the trap, the bar comes down and snaps that neck instantly and humanely. So with the trap in position, and you check your traps the next day, you're gonna find either a Norway rat usually, which is kind of a grayish brown rat, or you're going to find a black roof rat. So what you're gonna see is the bum of the rat sticking out plus the tail. Now you know you got a rat, it's easy to check the trap. You take your trap to a location that you wanna dispose of the rat at, Put on some disposable gloves and now unlatch the trap and open it up. Take your two thumbs again, put it right on the bar and just shake that rat out to the side. So now you have one or two rats depending on how many rats you catch. Uh, I catch a lot in my residential area. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep my property secure and I'm trying to keep rats away from my house. They're everywhere, but I'm just trying to keep my piece of the world safe. So now with your disposable gloves, you have the choice of grabbing the rat by the tail, putting it into a plastic bag and throwing it in the garbage when it's time to be disposed of. Or the other option, uh, and I've been successful with that, is there's no poison being used. So I've taken these rats, which is a fresh piece of meat for another animal. A scavenger animal will come by and eat these. So I have a secure place in my yard where I can put them out for a day or two, and I'll have crows and opossums come and drag them away. Um, there's lots of uh, videos on YouTube showing other animals coming to eat these animals. That's just nature and the way the circle of life. So if you want to dispose of rats, I have a trap that works effectively, easy to use, and you can always see if you've got a trap, a rat in your trap. So contact me if you want on at uh, Chilliwacka Rat on Facebook or on my website. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it.